what I've always said was, you don't need an excuse. If you have your buck tag and that's a deer you want to shoot, shoot it. If it's going to make, it, it, I have no apologies. It's going to make me feel good. I'm going to shoot that deer. I don't need an excuse to do it. But what you're saying from um, a scientific management perspective, there are much larger things that we should be worrying about. Give me some examples of those. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. You know, it's, I think there are more important things we need to be worrying about. Um, we're, we're, we tend to think of a deer herd just as a list of the bucks and the does that are out there. And we lose sight of that every time you, you remove an individual from that population, you've changed the dynamics in some way that's out there. This is a naturally functioning population. If we lower the age structure, they operate differently. If we raise the age structure, change the sex ratio, things, things are going to occur differently. Depending upon the direction we drive it, could be better, could be worse. Um, and I think it's a natural tendency for hunters the, the, the first step is we just go out there, we're young, we go shoot a deer. You know, you remember your first deer, we all remember our first deer. We evolve as we learn more about management and we come, become managers and we want to better manage our deer herd. And so we start to take the tools and, and, and tricks that we learn out of, out of magazines, from television, out of books, the, from the internet, and we try and apply those. And one of those things is the management buck, is the cull buck. Well, they're doing that, so I need to do that. I don't think that that is an important tool or something that people should be trying on their own property. I don't think it is having the success that seems to be suggested on television. I think they should be far more concerned with the condition of their herd, number one. Number two, the condition of the habitat and the nutrients available during the period of lactation. I believe it is the most overlooked aspect of white-tailed deer management and I believe this is true across the country, make sure that the does have the nutrients they need to maximize milk production. It's the most costly thing that any mammal does on earth is producing is, is, is lactation. And it is critical for those fawns to get a jump start on life. Whether you're doing that with habitat management, you're doing that with herd management, you're doing it with supplements, either food plots or whatever it is, if you can maximize that, then you will reap rewards three, four, and five years down, down the road. Invariably what happens is as a, as a land manager, you want to do all those right things and you go do it. And then for whatever reason, you might have some late-born fawns that are sublegal spikes. And it's like, oh, I, mu I messed up. I must, have not, I must have not provided enough. Well, no. I mean, there's, there's a million different reasons for that to happen. You're saying don't worry about that. We can, we, 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 we can control does. We can't control genetics. We, we, we can't, you know, removing call bucks is not improving our herd. Um, but as a hunter, but we, we, we can allow our, our bucks to age, and we can control our deer density and our doe population. Those are the two things we can really do. Anything else that we're talking about doing is Star Trek type stuff. It's really not possible. As a hunter, as hunters, we have incredible ability to influence the herd. As managers, we have incredible ability to influence the herd. Two different, two different ways. Um, as a deer hunter, obviously don't shoot those young bucks. If you're interested in larger antler deer, don't shoot the young bucks. But what you said earlier, which I think we've lost sight of, is if that deer's gonna put a smile on your face, shoot it. Don't apologize for it, don't make an excuse for it, don't do whatever it is, shoot it. If that deer is the one that's gonna make you happy, then shoot it.